message you have from your divine please pray to your divine whatever your religious belief is please pray to them and let us see what are the guidance we get from them i take these cards as very special and they are very very powerful so please pray to your god your divine whatever you um your be belief system is please pray to them and let us see so that we get the right guidance from the divine retreat inner child path okay i take two more cards sacred union and the last card dreams oh two actually came up i wanted to take one but two came up one is dreams and one is divine guidance what i'm getting the message here obviously if if you're looking for some reunion with somebody that is on your way that is for sure um, and it looks like this is your divine counterpart if you are in communication with somebody if you are in a relationship with someone which you because it looks like a guidance toward love relationship your love life um if you are in a connection with someone already in a connection that you are already talking this is a confirmation that this is your divine counterpart and this connection and this destination this is this union was destined okay you might have felt that when you met this person it was a magnetic attraction you tried to resist but you could not you never felt anything like that before in entire life you feel like how come that i'm feeling this helpless while i'm seeing this person how can i i cannot how come that i cannot control my emotions about this person why my world is flipped upside down this is a confirmation that this is your divine counterpart no matter whatever it is your soulmate uh, your twin flame whatever you call it whatever your concept is this is the part of your soul this is a part of your heart this person is another body that holds your soul i don't know how to explain that um however it looks like you get some bad dreams scary dreams at night and also you getting the messages in the dreams which you are not being able to decode um it looks like this is the way the divine guidance is coming towards you that your divine your higher self or your god your allah whatever you your belief system is whoever you believe they are trying to communicate with you to give the assurance that you are your prayers are being heard they are trying to give you the message that it is the right decision you made with this person however there are certain things you need to work you need to work on okay it's telling me that this 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 dreams are a kind of a message you probably getting some scary dreams at night and you probably getting some messages in the dream but you don't know how, how what it means here it is telling me with this connection the main problem you have in this connection is the inner child trauma okay inner child trauma now what is the inner child trauma like when we are small children when at the age when your our brains are developing we learn everything in the in the beginning like you know when we are in mother's tummy there are some reflex actions we learn automatically that gets layered in our brain like a programming like how to suck how to do wee wee how to do poop how to cry all those things we learn when you are in the in, in our brain learns but when we out and in the first couple of years like you know 5 6 7 all those years like we learn different things observing our near and dear ones and those times if your parents or your caregivers don't give the love care affection that you are seeking as a child <clears throat> doesn't mean that sometimes they might give you all the things that you needed food clothes toys but suppose you are hurt at the moment you are feeling scared but your parents are not available to go to them and soothe you those things stores in our body as a traumas childhood traumas you know i have read that in couple of books sometimes a child who were wearing uncomfortable clothes that was also a trauma stored in the child okay so also if you see a unhealthy relationship between your parents that also stores in our mind as a trauma it's like as a concept of relationship okay so these are the deep things i'm not going to discuss that here in deep but <clears throat> all i'm going to tell you you had certain belief system about your childhood that in your childhood that you learned about your um, relationship about yourself about your self belief that is actually working as a self sabotaging in this relationship you feel i'm not worthy enough i'm not good enough whatever i'm getting it's good enough i cannot deserve anything better than this i'm unhappy but i believe i cannot get anything better than this that self sabotaging behavior is coming from your childhood trauma 
okay because you as a child feel like you have to work really hard to get the attention of your parents your parents were busy i'm not judging anybody i'm nobody to judge any parents parenting style my mom was going through extreme distress because my brother was sick so she was busy as a mother to save her child she didn't have the time for me to take care of me but i don't judge her for that but as a child i was stored in, in that was stored in my mind that's my childhood trauma so the thing is your parents might have the best intention intention and love and care for you but probably they could not do it due to some other reason okay but that is stored within you and that's the feeling coming up as i'm not worthy i'm not good enough i'm not good enough of getting some love or i i i'm not i'm i'm just um everybody's trying to criticize me if you are an avoidant so you might be everybody's trying to criticize me everybody's trying to judge me so people are always blaming me that's not good my partner always blames me they always wants to come into my private space they don't give me any space all the time they are running behind me all those things that's are from your childhood trauma so it is telling me work on that okay you need to heal your childhood trauma and you need to it's a new birth when you heal yourself from the traumas that's holding you back you born as a new human being you release all the pain and the things that you are carrying in your shoulder you become absolutely amazing secure human being you do not really care who does what if somebody is giving you the validation if somebody is caring for you giving you space giving you time all those bullshit because you know as a human being i am complete i am good enough i am worthy enough retreat yourself with all those feelings that's the message coming in so work on your childhood trauma the person you are what looking for they will be coming back to you but that's not the problem the problem is why they are going away from you that's the question and that's because of the childhood trauma work on that honey all right and you will be unstoppable and it's my only account if you want to book a private reading the link is in my bio and um i have no other backup account okay so don't give money to the scammers and thank you so much this is my only 49k plus followers thank you so much to all of you you guys are so sweet love you take care